The Independent National Electoral Commission in Imo State wants total adherence to all outlined COVID-19 protocols during the Imo North Senatorial by-election on the 31st of October. The resident electoral commissioner in the state, Professor Francis Izon, said this while briefing journalists in Uwiri in preparation for the by-election on Saturday. TVC's Prince Uba reports. The senatorial seat of Imo North became vacant after the death of Senator Benjamin Owajimogu last year. The Independent National Electoral Commission is conducting a by-election to fill up the vacant seats in the Senate. The by-election is coming at a time of global health crisis caused by the coronavirus, but the Commission wants to conduct the exercise in a total adherence to COVID-19 protocol and safety measures in accordance with the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. There are new rules to guide the election as a way of protecting our people against COVID-19 infection. Uh, some of these guidelines have been published and in, in due course we'll be releasing the details to you. We expect individuals who are coming to vote to come with their first mask. We are going to maintain social distance at the poll. And of course, because of the protocols and procedure, the election will no longer start by 8 a.m., but will start by 8.30 a.m. and then end by 2.30 p.m. The commission has created an election resort portal to ensure transparency of the process. Where we still have serious issues is with the processing of the result. Now, INEC has created an election result portal. We are polling units results will be published as they come. Apart from uh, the EC8A and, EC and the E, which you have to display at the center, you also have this electronic copy of the result, which makes it easy for um, any person to follow up the result. According to INEC, the Imo North Senatorial by-election will hold in 64 registration areas and 692 polling units. Prince Oba, TVC News, Oweri.